Hey Reddit. What simple, life hack, should everyone know? You suck at writing comments. Prove me wrong below. Sometimes changing your pillowcase daily can help with acne. I use a clean t-shirt over my pillow to accomplish the same effect. To add to this, a lot of people wash their face when they get up but not before bed. Washing before you sleep will help keep the pillowcase cleaner and prevent breakouts. You don't need to apply a ton of night cream or anything. Just a medicated pad with salicylic acid will do. Your body will put moisture back on while you sleep and you'll wake up with a less oily face. Do your morning routine and make sure to add moisturizer as needed in the morning instead. Wash your sheets with unscented sensitive detergent too. The perfumes are sometimes an irritant to the delicate skin on your face. I usually put a clean towel on my pillow and sleep on it. That way I don't have to change the pillowcase often and can put the new towel on and wash the used one. If you want to wear something white, light in color. Wear underwear that matches the color of your skin. Not white. Or light gray. It hides better under white than white does. Imagine my horror when my first training bra was white and my skin as caramel. Seeing the outline in the mirror under my white uniform shirt freaked me out because I knew others would notice even though my mom said it doesn't show because it's white. She is fair skinned but lady I am brown. Read the 3 and 4 star reviews for the most reliable information on Amazon items. And 2 star reviews for books. Seeing what people dislike tells much. Try on your favorite to see. UPD, to clarify. The idea here is that people writing 2 star reviews project their views and values when arguing that the book is bad for them. And when their views are opposite to yours. It may suggest that you might actually enjoy the book. Let's say you're interested in mind-stimulating philosophy book. And a person writes something like, this is boring. The writing is too complex. Ideas are difficult to follow. The language is too intricate. Quit reading after 20 pages. It may mean that it is what you look for. Honey does not go bad. If it has gone solid it has just crystallized and can become liquid again with just a little heat. Put the container of solidified honey in a container of hot water. So many people throw out perfectly good honey when it gets crystallized while my favorite type of honey is crystallized. If you accidentally have caps lock on, instead of deleting it and starting over, you can highlight the caps and hit shift and F3 to switch it back to lowercase. Alt plus F4 also helps remove the errors. To confirm which circuit breaker is associated to an outlet, plug in an old radio and turn the volume up before you flip the circuit breaker. You can also do this with a vacuum if you are like me and don't have a radio. Actually pretty useful. Glue a tiny mirror over the picture of you on your driver's license so when you hand it to the police, they get confused and arrest themselves instead. Cops hate this one simple trick. If you put something down temporarily, say out loud, I've put the screwdriver by the microwave, or whatever. This engages many more areas of the brain, particularly the language centers which creates a richer memory making it less likely you'll forget where you put it. In a similar vein, I will say it out loud when I turn stove burners off. Unplug my hair straightener etc. I found this helps me eliminate those moments where I leave the house or am in bed and I'm suddenly like did I leave that on? When moving house, always set up your bedroom, make the bed first so when you're exhausted and just had enough you can fall into bed. Nothing worse than being exhausted and having to make the bed before getting into it. Also if you have time, plan where do you want the furniture's boxes of your stuff in the house. Placing it in the right room straight away helps a lot. And number your boxes, unpack the highest numbers first, generally it's the stuff you were using up to the point you left. If you want someone to get more mad you tell them to calm down. Also, call them, champ. If it's your girlfriend, wife and you really want her to calm down. Tell her she's acting like her mother. And that her sister would never behave this way. If you throw a house party where you, as the host, plan on getting quite drunk. Start the clean up while drunk. 
Trust me, waking up to a clean house when you're hungover is fantastic. Drunk you will barely remember and sober you has so much less to worry about in the morning. Hungover me wants to know why drunk me put the cat in the dishwasher. And if you do it near the end of the night a few others might just help out cause they are drunk too. Don't take life advice from internet strangers. Go on. If I denied your advice would I be listening to you or ignoring you? Manners and general politeness will get you far and become the norm with but a small amount of practice. I'm not talking overboard, milady, but a simple please and thank you with a genuine smile. I'll add to this. Be especially nice to receptionists. They are the gatekeepers. Whether you're there to interview for a job or attempt to sell something to the owners. If you are rude to the receptionist, you can kiss your chances goodbye. This applies doubly over the phone where body language and facial expressions are non-existent. Make sure your tone isn't condescending or else your message is going in the trash if it isn't mission critical. Source, am a receptionist. Interviewers always stop by my desk to get my seal of approval before moving forward in the hiring process. I have vetoed individuals for being rude, snobby and once for leaving a mess in the bathroom. My vote counts.